Hi everyone, I'm Dave Carger. Welcome to the Front Runners on Fandango. My guest today is Naomi Watts, Oscar nominated for Best Actress for The Impossible. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you, thanks for having me. Sure, for this show I have chosen one of my favorite sequences from The Impossible. Mm. It's a very dramatic scene where your character has been caught in a tsunami with her husband and three sons. This is the moment where you and your oldest son are reunited in this rush of water. It's intense. Okay. Now, I just want to know logistically, how did you even do this? Where this, are we here? This is in a water tank in Spain. And when we're together, we're in this sort of giant oversized flower pot and we're both sort of hunkered in. Um, and uh, yeah, it's intense. It was, I, and Maria spoke about this moment because she had been underwater for so long and um, sort of given up, actually was willing death. And then heard the voice of Lucas was totally um, alive again and, and obviously the will to live came surging back. Well, another miracle happens right here. We have to find you, I'm here. I'm oh, not that tree. That tree over there. Yes. I mean, who would ever think they'd be so excited to see a tree? <laughs> <laughs> but the whole audience is so excited to see that tree because that's salvation for you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Um, I think the, the beat before is just like the physical need to just cling on to each other um, and breathe each other in and like, you know, salvage that moment. And, and then what do we do next? And then and there you see the tree. Hang on for dear life. Now, did you have to train for this? Did you have to gain upper body strength just to handle yourself in all of this water? I think the, I did train, but it was mainly for stamina, you know, just to have that cardio level of fitness that you could do things like this over and over again. Um, and we were going up and down that water tank, you know, 15 times a day um, and fighting currents and, and things like that. And, um, so yeah, just creating a level of stamina so I could keep up with a 14-year-old <laughs> yeah. athlete. Right. Well, there's some really beautiful moments between mother and son here. I'm scared. Now you yourself are the mother of two young boys. Mm. When you're doing a film like this where you are a mother and the relationship is so intense between you and the actors playing your sons, do you almost feel like you're cheating on your own kids? Do you give them an extra special hug when you see them at the end of a shooting day? Yeah, you, you are affected by these moments and, and so you do squeeze them extra tightly. And usually she always knows um, the best choices to make and. Um, and she was just completely powerless in this moment, and all she could do was tell the truth, which is, I'm scared too, I, and I don't know what to do. I'm powerless, as powerless as you. And that's a horrible position for a mother to be in, to yeah. not be able to make their son or their child feel safe. Well, you're doing a good job of it here. <laughs> <laughs> and just the makeup here is also remarkable. What went through your mind when you first saw yourself in this bloodied form? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty intense. And it was a long day in the makeup chair. <laughs> um, and I had to be careful about when my kids were coming to the set for set visits. That would be traumatizing. Yeah, but um, we were careful. We would talk it through with the kids and, and show them that you know, red wounds on the hands and stuff can be easily wiped off. <laughs> so they understood. As long as you're walking and talking in the same way, they, they don't take it that seriously. I mean, they're constantly doing scary 
face paints themselves. So. I'm sure. <laughs> well, your director, J.A. Bayona, ends with a beautiful shot here. I don't know. I just love that. I love that shot from above. It was it was definitely the most physically draining and emotionally draining movie I've ever done. I and, can uh, yeah. only imagine. Well, this is such an affecting performance and such a powerful movie, and it's led to your second career Oscar nomination. So, Naomi, many congratulations to Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for joining me.